Hello, I'm a uh, hello. My name is Isaha, and I'm a youth culture heritage commentator. Today, I'm going to introduce you about the Kyung Mothers Lessons Hall in this Gyeongbokgung Palace. The Kyung Mothers Lessons Hall is is famous for its beautiful flower work. This is the beautiful flower work. This work is called as the flower work because it is. Beautiful as a flower. This wall is decorated with uh, Chinese characters, with some Chinese characters and patterns of flower and animals. The Chinese characters and flower and animals represent the happiness of the Queen Mother. Now let's go into the lessons hall. This building is the Queen's. Queen Mother's Lessons Hall. There is an interesting story in this Queen Mother's Lessons Hall. The last third king of the Chun Dynasty died without the crown prince. So the officials searched for the next king. At that time, the Queen Mother Zhu, the mother of last third king, supported the last, the last second king as a king. After the last second king, was enthroned. Enthroned, the father of the last second king built this, built this place more beautiful than the other place, than the other places, to represent his gratitude of the king for the king mother Zhu. This place is also famous for its beautiful, beautiful chimneys. Now let's go to chimneys. Go see the chimneys. This is a beautiful chimneys. This chimney is, it seems, a one chimneys, but there it has five bands, a uh, ten bands on its top. And this chimney is decorated, decorated with the ten symbols of longevity. The ten symbols of longevity are the sun, moon, sun, cloud, love, and pine trees, and so on. The, la the light side of this lotus is not the ten symbols of five ten symbols of longevity. The light side of the lotus is lotus is there are some grapes and the flowers. The grapes represent the fecundity, and the flowers represent the happiness of the happiness of the queen mother. Now, please look at the upper side of this of this chimney. At the upper side of the chimneys, there is a picture of a monster. This face of a monster was for for the protecting the palace. The dynasty people believed that this face of monster would protect the palace from the evil spirits and fire spirits. People think this people thought that this monster would eat the fire and the irons. And there are cranes at cranes at the at the side. The cranes represent the happiness of the of lower families. There is a picture of belt at the side of the chimney too. This picture of belt represents the happiness of lower family. Because the pronouns of the because the pronouns of the belt is similar to the pronouns of happiness in Chinese. Today I explained about the about the Queen Mother's Lessons Hall, and I'm going to finish my commentary here. Thank you for listening to my commentary.